So uh, it's that time of the month again. It is the end of August, and no, no, September. It's September. It's the end of September, and as such, we got the banner box. Uh, actually, you might even be seeing this in October, depending on when I get this together. But uh, my banner box arrived, and actually, I got I got two. BAM boxes uh, this month. Uh, the two two BAM boxes showed up on my porch um, uh, uh, the other day, uh, yesterday, and uh, this one looks legit, and then this one looks super like rough and taped up. So I thought to myself, what on earth could possibly be in this box? from the BAM Box Corporation. And then I looked at the uh, tag and I realized this box contains my first ever trade on the BAM Box community. Uh, I hooked up with a guy uh, named Eric Gonzalez from California and uh, I was on there looking for the Jurassic Park license plate that was part of the uh, Comic-Con box, um, see if I could get a hold of it. And um, I was talking about how I had the uh, that Back to the Future license plate from the 80s box that I would also be willing to give up for something. And uh, somebody was like, hey, if you're willing to give up that Back to the Future uh, plate, I have an Ecto-1 plate that maybe you might be interested in. And I was like, wait, what? Yeah, let's do that. So uh, Eric and I exchanged our information and he, I feel bad. I sent mine in like an envelope with just a little bit of cardboard. He rewrapped up a band box and uh, put his in uh, there. So, uh, Eric, uh, you do too much, bro. You do too much, but I appreciate it. Uh, and I hope that my um, end of the trade arrived safely. Um, it also arrived. It also arrived in like two days. Like he sent this out on Friday, and this showed up today. Is today is Wednesday? Is, yeah, this showed up on Tuesday. So. Uh, so like literally like two days later. Um, so that's super awesome. And it came from California, so that's pretty cool. So let's take a look and see what's inside this bat box. Oh, hey, look, there's no pin. Because uh, Eric already took the pin out. All that's in here is this super sweet Ecto-1 New York license plate. Very excited about this. I love this license plate. Um, and uh, so I was really excited. I like Back to the Future, don't get me wrong, I do like Back to the Future, but uh, I prefer Ghostbusters over Back to the Future. So this uh, was a top-notch trade. Thank you very much, Eric Gonzalez from California. You are the best. If you're getting Bambox and you're not on the Bambox community, you really should be because um, trades like this happen all the time, and uh, it's pretty fantastic. The, the nice thing about Bambox is these boxes are so different all the time. Uh, you never know what you're going to get, and uh, everybody else is getting something a little bit different. So the fact that we can trade these um, items like license plates and things like that. I got tape on my finger. Sorry, that was super distracting. Uh, the fact that we uh, can get items like this is so cool. So I, I never got this license plate, uh, and now I have it, and that is awesome. And that Back to the Future license plate, like I said, even though it was cool and I liked it, it was just sitting in my basement doing nothing. So uh, this uh, will still sit in my basement doing nothing, but I will probably find a place to put this at some point because this I like more. So there it is. All right, let's get to September's The Bam Box. Okay, so real talk here. A couple of weeks ago, was it? Maybe it was like last week. Uh, Adam, the CEO of Bam Box, he does these Facebook Live uh, chats. And... Um, he was talking about the strange box and he was talking about how 
the uh, the instant winners are uh, tabulated or how they're how they're boxed. And literally, it's you know if it's one of four, it's literally you know one, two, three, fourth one gets an instant winner. However, Adam slipped up, and he said they count one, two, three, four. Four gets a hat. So potentially in this box is a hat from uh, and and they had already let me so there is a hat okay so that's right they let it be known early on that the instant winner was going to be an autographed item from none other none, none other than Dustin this little guy right here in uh, Ducktales uh, Huey Louie and Dewey form. Uh, this is an awesome shirt. I got this uh, from uh, Shirt Frog. Great, great company. Um, definitely check them out. This is an awesome shirt. I will leave their information uh, below. Um, but uh, Dustin from Stranger Things, I am all about the Stranger Things. I'm all on board uh, with Stranger Things. I, I took my time getting into it, uh, and then I, I watched and I powered through it in one day. Uh, if you haven't watched it yet, you really should. It's fantastic. And so I'm all about it. I'm super excited. There is a Stranger Things item in here, no matter what I think they said. Um, and then there's definitely um, the possibility, one in four-ish, of getting a hat signed by Gatlin Mazzaro, I want to say his name is, who played Dustin from Stranger Things. And if you're not on Team Dustin, well, then that's okay, because there's, you know, so many awesome characters on that show to be um, uh, to, to be uh, on the team up. But I am Team Dustin. I love Eleven. Don't get me wrong. I love you, Eleven. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. But Team Dustin all the way. Yo. Hashtag Team Dustin. Okay. So there could be a hat in here. I'm really excited. As for everything else that was in here, there was tease that there may be um, possibility of something from Gene Wilder in here. Um, uh, I know that they kind of uh, were up against that because he passed away. Um... Uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the Johnny Depp version, was um, teased as a possibility. Uh, Doctor Strange, obviously, uh, the box is strange. Um, and uh, uh, I think that was it. Maybe it was, I think, um, Tim Burton. Something from Tim Burton. Maybe Alice in Wonderland? Something like that. I imagine uh, there's a couple other things here from Tim Burton movies uh, because uh, it is Tim Burton. He's as strange as they come. So let's open the band box and find out what I got. Please, please let there be a hat in here from Dustin from Stranger Things. Please. All I ask of you, universe, is that this box contain a hat from Dustin from Stranger Things. Let's, up. let's see. We're not going to see it anyways right now because, oh, there Oh, so Manbox it looks like they upgraded their um, uh, their magazine, their their little card to a magazine. I'm not going to open it, um, but uh, yeah, ooh, there's Beetlejuice on there and Doctor Strange and Jubilee. So yeah, um, yeah, I guess it's like a magazine now, straight out of Manbox. So you don't get the cards instead anymore, I guess, or maybe I just didn't get a card. Yeah, no, I think I just didn't get a card. <sighs> okay, so. Uh, life goes on. Uh, there we go. That's what's in the box. Uh, the pin this month, it looks like it's Beetlejuice. That is cool. That is super, super cool. Let's take a look. Uh, I think they were doing something different with the variants this month. Um, but, uh, yeah. So this month's uh, theme is strange and the pin is Beetlejuice. And this is a really cool looking pin. Uh, I love it. The hair, the detail on the hair is awesome. So, uh, Beetlejuice uh, is the strange pin this month. Very nice looking. The, the, the pins are excellent. The, the pins in this box are excellent. There are some boxes that include pins that are not good. They're button pins, um, or they're, uh, they're just kind of weird, like just they're overly clunky vinyl pin, or not vinyl, but uh, enamel pins. And, um, you know, but the BAM pins, if there's one thing that the BAM box nails every month, it seems to be the pins. A lot of people don't like the variants, but um, I think the variants aren't, aren't, aren't too bad. They they look different, but uh, it's kind of cool that they're, you know, they're a variant. So, whatever. It is what it is. So, let's see what else is in the box. Uh, let's 
seed. We'll take the band paper out. I always want to check, yeah, make sure there's nothing in there. Uh, that looks like a print. There's like some kind of bag. Let's pull that out. Ooh, this is fancy. This is fancy. It's like a nice little, it's like a nice little purse for your gold coins. Like a nice little pouch. It's got little, little, little dinky dinks on it. This is a very nice looking uh, bag. A nice little crushed velvet look to it. And it appears to be, well, it looks like it's a pocket watch. That's interesting. Uh, all right, and what is that? I don't see anything on there. Oh, it looks to be a um, a white rabbit, right? Is that the white rabbit? Yeah, it looks like to be a, like a white rabbit um, pocket watch. Uh, it's got a nice long chain to it. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. How does it open? It opens from the top. Hello, hello. Riveting television, huh? Uh, I'm not editing this down. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Is there like a button? Oh, there's. So uh, yeah, there's a button. You press the button and uh, it releases. That's kind of nice. It's uh, it's nice looking. The the detail on the inside uh, and the outside. That's very nice looking. That's very very nice looking. Um, doesn't feel overly cheap. Um, yeah, that's kind of nice. That's kind of a neat little item. Um, you know, it is. It's a collectible type thing. Uh, let's see. There's. Uh, it's like a tin. All right. So the next thing up is the dream is real, and this is a pin. I mean, a tin, excuse me. Um, I think the dream is real. This looks maybe like it's um, Inception something from Inception, maybe? That's That looks like the um, like the writing from the thing. So, uh, it's just foam. It's just a piece of foam. It's just a piece of foam and a tin. Oh, nope, there's something underneath the foam. Let's see what it is. Ooh. That is cool. Let's see, hold on, let's see. Let's see if I'm in a dream. This is uh, uh, really cool. This is the um, the totem that Cobb had in the movie uh, Inception, and he would spin it, and if it stopped spinning, that meant that he was no longer in a dream. And technically it was originally, this is uh, a very cool, this was the, the, the top that uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's character used in Inception, um, in the movie Inception, if you haven't seen it, um, they go into these dreams and then they have these things called totems that they carry in their pockets so that they know when they're not in a dream because they're the only one who knows how it weighs. And if they're in somebody else's dream, then this would weigh differently because it's got a different shape and feel. So it's really complicated. But yeah, anyways, this is Leonardo DiCaprio's totem from the movie Inception. And this is... Uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt's characters, he had a loaded die, um, and I want to say his name was Arthur, but it's been a long time since I've seen the movie. So this is his totem, uh, the die that he kept, like I said, they kept these in their pockets. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool, and the tin is nice looking. The tin is very nice looking. So let's see what else. I didn't get the hat. I, I can already feel in there. I didn't get the hat, and uh, I already knew because I didn't get the instant winter card. Uh, let's see what else. There's, this is... Ah, uh, next up we have a... <laughs> so I didn't get the hat, the hat, um, the uh, Gatlin Mazzaro hat, but uh, it looks like, I don't know if everybody got this or if this was just kind of a, a thing that some people got, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. This is very cool. If you've seen uh, Stranger Things on Netflix, uh, you will know that the, the monster is called a Demigorgon. Uh, it's based off of the uh, one of the characters that's in the Dungeons and Dragons. And I don't know if that's a real character in Dungeons and Dragons, but whatever. Uh, but uh, when they're going to battle the Demi Gorgon, um, Steve uh, puts together puts some nails through a bat and creates a bat with nails in it. And uh, apparently, uh, the fine folks at Bambox 
have given me my very own bat to fill with nails uh, to create my very own demigorgon killer. This is awesome. This is, ooh, they don't, they don't go in there easily, do they? Uh, I hope these things come out. I didn't plan this through. Um, <laughs> I don't know where I would keep something like this. Uh, let's see. I don't think I did this right. Yeah, I don't think I did this right. Uh, let's see. This guy's gotta go like this. Yeah, I definitely did not do this right. There's not much going on here in the way of... And that one doesn't even seem to have a hole that goes through it. Where's that one? Oh yeah, that one. See, that one doesn't even have a hole. The hole didn't drill all the way through. So my, my bat is somewhat incomplete because this one didn't have a complete hole. <laughs> um, but it's still pretty cool. And if I did it right, uh, which I didn't, um, this would be uh, even cooler because it's, uh, like I said, demigorgon killer. Uh, so you just, you can just, you really do some damage because these are real nails. So uh, yeah, and uh, this is so stupid. Uh, yeah, this kind of, uh, this is cool. And I really like, I just wish uh, I could get this through. I don't want to rip it. I don't want to damage it. So I'm not going to even try. I'm not going to force that through. So that kind of sucks. Um, I guess I could drill it if I had a drill, but I don't have a drill currently. So maybe, maybe I'll be, maybe I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll figure out a way to fix that. But for now, that kind of sucks. Um, this will be fat. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, all right. Next up, there's a card. It tells you how to put the uh, Demigorgon uh, killer uh, together. Uh, remove nails from packaging. Place nails halfway through each hole in the bat. Oh, you don't put it all the way through. Well, that's okay, because that one doesn't even go in at all. Um, keep away from children. Uh, oh, uh, so yeah, step one, uh, remove nails from packaging. Step two, place nails halfway through each hole in the bat. And step three, avenge Barb. Uh, so that is really cool. A lot of people really cling to Barb, and I don't, I don't know, I wasn't a big Barb fan. I wasn't, uh, I'd like to see her story more complete, um, but, uh, you know, I wasn't a big fan of Barb, so uh, I'm not, I'm not team Barb like some people are. Next up, it looks like we have a comic, and this appears to be a Grimm comic, uh, NBC, so yeah, this is Grimm from the TV show. Uh, Grim. It's a comic book. Um, issue number one. Uh, looks like this is a band box exclusive. Um, I don't know if the comic is exclusive or if the cover is exclusive, but something about this is band box exclusive. So that's nice. Nice. Always nice getting exclusive stuff. And let's see. I think there's one thing left. I think the print is the last thing left. Yep. There's the print. That's the only other thing in the box. And it's Dr. Strange. Um, yeah, it's kind of neat. Uh, it's not bad. Um, yeah. I mean, it's kind of cool looking. It's, it's not, it's, so if you're not like a Doctor Strange fan, it's not necessarily art that is going to be, um, you know, like, oh, it's super marvel and comic-y. It's kind of got like a cool retro feel to it. Uh, but mine's a little damaged. So my art print is damaged a little bit here on the end. And my Demogorgon Killer is incomplete because uh, this didn't have a hole. I had to poke that through and then uh, so it didn't have a complete hole. And I didn't get the dust in hat. So this strange box is um <sighs> you know I tried to put my best face forward for the crazy box because I, I liked what they did and I liked what they're doing. With this one I like what they did um, as far as the items. I think the items are neat and interesting and I like the totem a lot. I think this is my favorite thing from this box. Um, but, you know, it's a manufacturer's defect type thing. It's not it's not anything that necessarily Bambox can control. And, um, you know, I'm sure this is an accident as well. But, like, you know, like, that sucks a little bit. Like, uh, it's kind of a bummer. I mean, I'm not, I, I don't, you know, I don't hate Bambox. I'm not going to cancel my subscription based on these two things. But um, this is a little disappointing, I guess. Um, for me, like I said, you know, uh, since I didn't get the hat, to have two items that have a issue with them is not a big deal. I'm sure if I contact the folks at Bambox, they would somehow try to make it right. Um, I'm not that early that guy, so I probably won't do that. But, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, 
it is what it is, but I really like the totems. Those are my favorite things. I really, really like this. Based on these things alone, uh, the Beetlejuice pin is pretty cool. Um, I'll read this. Uh, I like comic books. Um, you know, I like this. I think this is really cool. Um, I wish that I, you know, like I said, I wish it was, um, I wish I could completely use it, but I can't use this hole. So it's kind of got a hole in it on the other side that's, you know, kind of pointless, I guess. I don't know. Um, eh, you know, it is what it is. Let's take a look at the magazine. The box fell. I did not throw the box down and protest band box. I promise you that. Let's take a look at the band box magazine or booklet or whatever it is and see what could have been. All right, so um, the BAM box uh, contest this month is a, every month there's a card usually in the box. This time because they've got the book, it's in the cover. Every month there's a, a, a new contest, and this month's contest is a Stanley signed copy of Doctor Strange. Um, so that's kind of neat. Uh, take a picture of your favorite item in the BAM box, and you can win one of that. There's the 1UP key, um, if you've got a 1UP, which I did not. Uh, but whatever, it's okay. Um, and then the Beetlejuice pin. Uh, so it looks like there were a couple of different pins. Um, you could have gotten um, you could have gotten Beetlejuice. Uh, you could have gotten Lydia, and you could have also gotten uh, Harry the Hunter, the the you know uh, shrunken head guy, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, and it looks like the variant was the was a black and white version of the. Uh, hunter um, character, so that's kind of neat. So the variant was a was a was just one of the pins, so it wasn't like there was extra ones and stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. Uh, everybody got the Demogorgon Killer. Hopefully, everybody's um, was able to be put together fully. Mine was not. Um, let's see. Everybody got the custom Alice in Wonderland white pocket watch, white rabbit pocket watch. Um, so yeah, that was, that was right, and it's got a little pressy thing if you can't figure it out. Next month's uh, theme is strain. I'm sorry, watching. Um, so the thing that sucks about this box for me is that since this box really wasn't all that much of a home run, and the crazy box wasn't super great either, um, the watching box is not really going to be my thing either because I'm not into horror movies. So that's going to be three boxes in a row that I just really wasn't into. Um, so that kind of stinks. So hopefully November's box will be super, super awesome, um, for me. Uh, everybody got the totem set. Um, let's see if it says Arthur's Red Die. This was Arthur's Red Die. Did I say Arthur? I think I said Arthur. This was Arthur's Red Die. Um, and then uh, everybody got the Grim comic book, but there was a variant where you could have gotten a black and white version. Uh, I like this one. I like the color on this. That's kind of neat. Uh, I've not really watched Grimm. I watched a little bit the first season, um, but I have not kept up on it. Everybody got the strange artist print. Um, there was a variation on it, it looks like. Uh, yes, yeah, so everybody either got to the... Um, uh, everybody got either got the uh, strange print as it is, or some people got one with his eyes open. Cool. Uh, and then um, other people could have gotten a uh, Gene Wilder uh, print um, with Gene Wilder um, sitting in the Willy Wonka thing, and it looks like uh, Richard Pryor uh, is hanging out with God. That would have been pretty cool. That would have been very cool. And then everybody uh, who got the instant winner got the uh, Gatlin Metazaro, aka Dustin from Stranger Things hat. So, that was this month's band box. Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, my print is a little bit damaged. It's not destroyed or anything like that, but it's damaged. So, I mean, I really don't want to hang it because I can't really show off the autograph. So, if I wanted to display this, I really couldn't uh, display it and make it look nice because there's kind of that jam at the bottom. And then the, the bat, the Demigorgon Killer, is cool, but like I said, I've got one hole that unless I drill through it, I really can't use because I want to risk cracking the bat, I want to risk cracking the wood and making it look stupid. So the Demogorgon Killer is cool, but I mean, yeah, so that's, that's that. Uh, everybody got a Beetlejuice pin. I liked the Beetlejuice pin. Uh, it was kind of nice. 
Um, and then the pocket watch was kind of cool looking. It's, it, it's nice. It's a nice little uh, trinket. Um, I do a lot of the theater, so this could be a, an interesting prop someday for something. Um, so I'm sure that'll come in handy down the line. And then the Inception totems, which are super cool. I'm a big fan of these things. I love the movie Inception. I think there's a lot of people who, uh, you know, people either love or hate the movie Inception. People have so many theories about the ending of Inception. The top did not fall, by the way. He was still in the dream. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is. Uh, so, uh, uh, these were my favorite items in the, in the box. And then the, the tin that they came in was pretty cool looking as well. So that's BAM box for, uh, September. The theme was strange. It was a strange box indeed. And, um, so yeah. So, uh, the thing that we can take away from this box mostly and this, uh, video is that Stranger Things on Netflix is one of the greatest uh, Netflix series of all time, and you should definitely watch it. And if you don't watch it, I'm going to come to your house with the Demogorgon Killer, I'm going to beat you up. And if I beat you up on this side, it'll be okay because there's only one nail, and then there's no nails like on this side right here, like here right here. If I hit you right here, I can hit you right here and nothing's going to happen because I don't have a nail going through that side of the bat. Okay, so if you would like to subscribe to Bandbox, if you're into horror um, movies uh, or, uh, you know, f horror type stuff, you need to check out next month's Bandbox because next month's Bandbox looks like it's going to be awesome. They have been teasing um, so much stuff, but they've also been leaving a lot of stuff very, very vague, and um, there's things that they said they haven't even begun to tease. So, very cool if you're into horror films. Uh, if you're into horror films, definitely check that out. You can hit the link uh, below and that will take you to the Bandbox page and you can sign up for the Bandbox if you have not already. Uh, and like I said, I love Bandbox. I'm, I'm, I'm not as disappointed as I am in the box. I feel like I still got some value for it. Um, like I said, I can always fix this. I don't have the tools or the ability to do it really, but I mean, I could always figure out a way to get it fixed. So that's not a big deal. Um, and then, uh, like I said, this, I probably wouldn't put this up anyways, so it's not really a super big deal. But it's still a little disappointing because, like I said, the crazy box wasn't great. It was, it was interesting. And then next month's box is the watching, which I'm really not going to be into because I'm just not into horror stuff, so... So whatever. So anyways, uh, if like I said, if you would like to subscribe to Bandbox, I will leave all that information below. If you would like to get a shirt like this from that awesome company, uh, uh, I will leave their information in the uh, description below as well. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you did not like this video, I mean, I guess you can give me a thumbs down. That's cool. You do whatever you want. It's your life. You know, you own it. I got a bat with nails in it. It's just... It's not, it's not perfect, but I got bad with nails in it. Uh, if you have not subscribed, please click that little button right there, that little guy that says subscribe. And subscribe to my channel, and um, you can see all of my other videos and all of my amazing content uh, will be uh, notified to you in some way, shape, or form when it becomes available. So there's that. All right, so uh, check out Stranger Things on Netflix. Check out The Bam Box, and I will see you next time.